is how I love to knit my Ogbono before you know pressing it all together. This is the Ogbono down here. This is my crayfish, my blended uh, pepper. We call it Atabungu in Yoruba. And then Ede Lilo, which is the blended crayfish. And then this is my salt. And this is my Maggie. No chicken cubes. So yeah, I'm going to uh pour oh, my palm oil. oil and then my son is going to mix it all together for me <laughs> they love to do this and then the egusi and onion as well they love to press it in fact sometimes they always fight on who, who to press <laughs> who to press it down for me so this is the ori ero we call it ori ero in yoruba and it is called a uh, good head <laughs> in english so i just finished washing it i'm going to add my onion and then or other um, spice to boil it ah, without washing it yet in fact i am perceiving the um, smell of the the aroma of the uziza leaf i love that leaf i can't if i'm not including it in my obono then i am not cooking obono <laughs> so yeah my goat egg is all spiced ready to go on fire and this is the obono it's looking you know well pressed and then i also like the fact that my boys love to assist me so well in the kitchen like they love it and i pray they continue like this so it will help them so well when they grow up and they are you know on their own my granite oil and palm oil are doing justice to the onion and then my meat is looking all good it's the ear and tongue for me and that's definitely my take. Yeah, look at that. What's your rope? The aroma of this uh goofy is giving me pepper soup vibe. I still is frying. Maybe I mean pepper is frying. Waiting for goofy to enter. Oh gosh. Oh, this tongue. I love tongue. I want to sieve uh, the stock. I don't like using the stock with all those particles, uh, onion and all the particles uh, that always you know, remain in it, and all of these things that come out from the meat. So you can see, I don't like, I don't like seeing it in my stock. So I, I always sieve my stock. So I'll use some and then I'll keep some in the freezer for maybe whenever I want to cook a um, concoction or jollof rice. Oh, my stew is stewing. It's stewing the stew. It's doing the do. The meat is about to talk and the, the water I had it to for the obono is you know ready. And then there's no need bringing out the stockfish before adding the obono. And some strategy, another strategy you can also bring it out if you want. But if you don't, if you know how to cook obono well. There's no need bringing out anything you want to add to it. And then another thing is you can you can not even add your meat or fish at all. It is when your obono is in and ready, then you now add your bird, fish or meat or whatever it is you want to add to your obono. So I cook it either with either adding or not you know adding. Yeah, the stew is ready. So yeah, this is the obono. I'm done raising the vegetable. I see obono as the easiest draw soup to prepare. Like easiest. Hey God. Even the easiest than a wedu. You know a wedu you will still have to pour a wedu. You will blend it. Or use a knife to chop it on the uh, chop it on the board. Oh but no, no more. Once you don't blend your thing from market, fire will come out, just put water for fire. You know, and the oven is ready. Mm.